The tiny concert hall began as a concept on an eight foot by 20 foot trailer. Then it evolved into a modular home structure suitable for a permanent foundation. The use of a permanent foundation and steel structure modular home led to the idea of simply using a steel structure built on site rather than a modular home structure. The steel structure is a concept which is used commonly in industrial and agricultural design in the United States. Steel structures might include barns or buildings suitable for housing equipment, such as tractors or trucks. They might also be used for different type of industrial processes, including manufacturing sites or storage of manufacturing products. Steel structures can also be used for tiny concert halls. Let's find out how. We'll start with a 24 foot by 40 foot steel prefabricated building. This type of building is constructed in a manufacturing site and brought in pieces to the final location. Steel beams and steel siding are constructed on site out of these prefabricated pieces. These buildings can be very small to very large. For this tiny concert hall, I've chosen a 24 foot by 40 foot footprint design. In this model, we have one half inch blocks, each of which represent two feet. Here's a half inch that represents two feet. This drawing is 24 feet by 40 feet in size. Now, I've chosen to start with the main entrance, which is centered in this design. And the main entrance will be directly opposite a 24 foot by 18 foot stage. In this design, the stage will actually be elevated approximately one foot off the ground. This stage is large enough for a symphony orchestra. Here is the conductor's podium. We can add strings, woodwinds, brass, percussion, and even a grand piano on the stage. Now let's go back to the main entrance. We can add a foyer here with double doors leading into the concert hall. There's even space for two bathrooms, one on either side of the foyer. These are four foot by six foot bathrooms, each with a toilet and sink and these bathrooms may meet local regulations for handicapped access. Now let's add the audience. These are rows of seven chairs on either side of the door. The rows are spaced at three feet each allowing space for the chair and an aisle for leg room. Their 
are located slightly away from the wall to allow for access to emergency doors, which will be placed in the next slide. Here we've added plenty of emergency exits all around the concert hall. These include emergency exits from the foyer and emergency exits at the front and rear of the audience. There are even emergency exits on the stage and at the back of the stage. Notice that the specific placement of emergency exits depends on the local building code. Now here's a look at the tiny concert hall. From the outside, in the front, we can see that there's a nice entrance with semicircular window on top and the emergency exits with glass doors and glass arched decorative design above them matching the main entrance. The inside contains a vaulted ceiling and a one foot elevated stage. On the outside, we can see the placement of the emergency exit doors. Here is the exterior of the steel structure tiny concert hall. As you can see, the prefabricated steel siding is a vertical design in a simple gray color. The doors have been cut out from that steel siding and include the main entrance with a fine wood door and emergency exit doors made out of glass on either side of the main entrance. The roof is a red steel roof. Here is the side of the steel structure tiny concert hall. It includes three emergency exit doors and the same steel siding as the front. You can also notice the red steel roof. This model of the tiny concert hall can seat an estimated audience of 70 people with an estimated maximum musician number of 56. This has been sponsored by Big Print Music and the Big Print Conducting Method.